Hi, I'm reporter Rachel Kirkland with Washington Exec, and today I'm joined by Zach Parker, CEO of DLH Corporation. Thank you so much for joining me today, Zach. Thank you, Rachel. It's a pleasure to be with you. Today we're speaking about diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Um, one of the core values of DLH is around fostering diversity and inclusion in the workforce. How important is that effort? Uh, thank you, Rachel. Uh, it is very critical. It's at the core of our, of, uh, of our, our brand from DLH. It uh, has been from the onset and, of course, is even more so with the challenges we face today. It is important because it really, really helps to drive and optimize our value proposition not just externally, but in each phase of our business. Uh, when, when you look at our customers, uh, we need to make sure that we're reaching out and making sure we're looking and operating and, and thinking much like our customer base. It will help us to connect and to grow. With regard to talent and talent acquisition, we want to be the best of the best in terms of acquiring and retaining great talent. And that's a key value, I think, that many of the folks that look to you know, organizations like ours uh, uh, really weigh that, I think, importantly. And last but not least, is really driving better decisions. I have found with my executive leadership team and others that the greater the diversity quotient in our, in our deliberations, the better the decisions. And those decisions affect our performance excellence as well as shareholder value. Absolutely. Um, can you go back and talk a little bit about um, what structures are in place to ensure accountability um, to these values that you have? No, great question. Yeah, it is important that uh, we walk the talk. And from a corporate standpoint, that really means that we've really got to make sure that we have performance management systems, systems to track and to hold folks uh, to be, first of all, responsible and then accountable uh, for these values. So our PMS, or Performance Management System, really looks at values as well as operational and technical capabilities. And as we go through these, this process on at least an annual basis and often more, more periodic, it's important that we address those. Not only tracking them, but also make sure we have incentives for our leadership to embrace those values and to demonstrate behaviors that will move us in that, uh, in that direction. So you're actively working um, towards this. What are some ways that DLH wants to continue to strengthen its efforts toward diversity and, and inclusion? Well, I think certainly at the leadership, from a leadership standpoint, we want to continue to ensure that at the executive level and our board of directors and the senior leadership team, that we're embracing these principles. Uh, all too often, you'll find that C-suites are remiss from continuing to factor in the diversity of DNI equation, uh, whether it's a decision process, hiring or staffing. We have a great, uh, great diversity on our executive level, but we can't stop there. So we're really doubling down to look at focusing on, on policies and practices and some of our procedures to really root out some of the unconscious biases that have led us to get to where we are today. In our industry in the GovCon space, still shows evidence of systemic discrimination in how we procure things, how we, our subcontracting environments, uh, not only our buy-in behavior, but also, you know, our, our inclusive behavior. And, and so for us, we're really going to focus on the I as well, because if you're not involved uh, either f uh, in the decision process or have a seat at the table, then we're not getting the inputs or, or, or the diversity associated with gender or race and other factors. And it is important if we're going to really accomplish the, the objectives that I described earlier, that that inclusiveness involves impact on the decisions we're going to make at the board level. It's an important discussion and I, I know it's ongoing. Zach, I appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for sharing. Uh, stay safe and we hope to talk to you again soon. Same to you, Rachel, and a uh, great job by J.D. and the leadership team of Washington Exec. We look forward to all the great things that you guys are doing and look forward to having an impact with you as well. Thank, Thank you. you so much.